What's up everybody, my name is Swergy and today I'm bringing you guys a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary. I'm playing some Team Defender on Vakara with the MP7 silencer. I go 25 and 1, I cut out the death at the beginning because it was a bunch of BS and I know you guys don't want to see that, you want to see some flawless gameplay, so here you go. It is a, a great gameplay, it's very entertaining, so you guys should all enjoy. But uh, before I start this gameplay, I just want to start off by saying that uh, I've been slacking and getting gameplay, I haven't actually bringing you guys the, the worst gameplay I can possibly get. I have not been trying to get the best gameplay, so uh, from here on out, there will be nothing but great gameplay, some Moabs, some flawless games, whatever you guys are into, just uh, stay posted for that. But so anyway guys, I'm making some huge changes on my channel, so there should be a very good variety of gameplay and uh, games such as uh, Black Ops, COD 4, whatever games you guys want to see, there will be a lot more of that, uh, so stay posted for that here in the future. But so anyway guys, I have a pretty good topic to talk about, so let's jump into it. So today at my school, we were taking this test. It is a, uh, a tax test. That's what it's called down here in Texas. It's like the statewide test that everybody has to take. And um, the writing prompt today was, have you ever seen anything differently or in a new way? And um, I had this long, strung out topic uh, that I want to talk about to you guys today. It is a, a pretty serious topic, I should say this. So um, the thing I want to start off with first is that uh, it's about religion. So if you guys want to hear about some religion stuff and uh, you guys are really into it, you know, stay here. But if you guys yourselves are uh, very opinionated and uh, don't want to hear anybody else's opinion, then uh, you know just click off the video. But um, anyway, we're going to jump into it because I have a lot of stuff to say. So let's start off with the whole God thing. Now, uh, you know, as a child, I was really big into going to church. I went to church with my aunt and my uncle a lot. And uh, I really believed in all of this. And, um, you know, I really believed in God, Jesus, heaven, all this stuff. But um, as I started to get older, I started to question myself, like, does any of this make sense to me? And should I continually believe in something that I don't believe in? So I sat there, I'd ask myself these questions, and um, I finally came to the conclusion that I don't believe in this stuff. I don't believe in God or Jesus or heaven. I, I don't believe in it. And some people, you know, they call me atheist. But some, you know, it's people's beliefs. And I'm not saying I don't believe in something that something's out there, because there is honestly a most definite chance that I do believe in something. I believe in, uh, you know, a lot of things, but uh, some things that I do think about that other people do, you know, believe in, most likely, I uh, just don't believe in it. And it's not because I'm trying to be different, it's just that the stuff that I hear and the stuff that I listen to, it's not, you know, rational, it doesn't make any sense. Am I supposed to believe that when you die, your so-called soul goes up to heaven, and um, it, it stays there with people where there's golden gates and there's angels and stuff. There's just stuff that doesn't make sense. And um, the next thing I want to jump into is actually, why do I think people believe in this? And uh, that is simply because of the fact that I think people just want to believe in something. They want something to believe in because whenever their family members die or whenever they're about to die, they want to believe they're going to go to somewhere very, very nice and uh, very, very safe. But to me, it's uh, just not reality. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm kind of like that person that is uh, not too sure. But um, if I had to believe in something, it would for sure be heaven. Uh, due to the fact that I do not want to be reincarnated into a plant or an animal. I would most definitely want to be somewhere where there's a lot of people. And, uh, you know, I can be social with people. And I can do, you know, good deeds and stuff. And, uh, you know, just fit in with everybody. And um, heaven seems like the way to go for most people, and I think that's why most people believe in this. And I uh, most definitely respect the people that believe in Jesus. I know I don't believe in him myself, but uh, I think people that can uh, stay strong and believe in something for so long and, uh, you know, still keep their religion, you know, very, very strong, I think that I can respect somebody like that because they believe in something and uh, they don't let anybody tell them differently. And that's kind of like me, you know, so we have something in common. But um, anyway, guys... The thing I'm trying to get by in this commentary today is you just need to see things differently. You have to realize there isn't just one answer for every question that comes at you. You have many different ideas as to what you can use and what you can say. And um, that is the thing I'm trying to open you to today because the ideas we need are the ones that come from you. We need, you know, people that are smart and intelligent and are open to many different uh, ideas and discussions and uh, just stuff like that. So the next time someone asks you, what religion are you? What do you believe in? You go into specific details as to what you believe in and why you believe in it. And um, if you guys are at that point where you're scared to tell your friends that you believe in something differently, uh, I think they will respect you anyway as long as you have enough evidence and uh, enough things to say about it and uh, you actually show that you believe in this hardcore 
They will, uh, you know, be behind you through everything, and I really do think it'll help you out in the long run. So keep all this in your mind whenever you get asked this, and uh, whenever you get asked any question, just believe that uh, if you have enough things to say about it, and uh, your beliefs are very, very strong, and uh, you just know what you're talking about, and um, you're very, very good at explaining things that uh, are meaningful to you, you should do easily well, and it should be a very easy thing for you. But um, anyway, guys, this commentary is coming to an end. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want some more serious topics like this and you really enjoyed this topic, please go down in the comments and leave me a comment, and please leave me a like, and uh, tell me some stuff that I can do in my next commentary. I want to say thank you guys all for watching. This has been Swergy. I'm signing out. Have a spectacular day. Peace.